summer storm. We can hear thunder in the distance. And we have some nice dark clouds over there. Come on now. We just got a big one a second ago. Practically shook the house. Well, it is a mobile home. Can you hear that in the distance? Oh, is there more than one? Because I swear to you, like a second ago. <laughs> So, we're in the middle of a summer storm rolling through right now, and I have to disassemble my umbrella because I have now got no umbrella. Uh, a big giant wind just came, and I was like, uh oh, my umbrella, I forgot to put it down. And, well, it's seen better days. I mean, it's a bit old. And I did that video about the uh, fixing my umbrella with dental floss, so I'll share that with you. And here's the dental floss, still holding just fine. But it wasn't the dental floss that gave. It was the metal itself. Because let me tell you guys, it broke here. It broke here. And you hear that thunder? And what it did, and I had it clamped down, that's interesting, lifted it right up out of this table and flew it, and it was upside down all the way over there by that basketball hoop thing. So, son of a gun. No more umbrella. Okay, we'll have to figure something out as far as that goes, because this is pretty much not fixable as far as I'm concerned. I have uh, two, it ripped, I have two um, broken, I have broken here, broken here, and broken here, so it's just, there's no coming back from this, looks like I'm going to have to get another umbrella, but my mistake, I know that I'm supposed to put my umbrella down in a storm, I've had it pick up my entire table and move it across the yard. Didn't do it this time, thank God, because that's glass. But, yeah, all right. <laughs> Life on the homestead, yeah. Interesting happenings. To be honest, I still love a good summer storm, even if it takes out my umbrella. Yeah. Well, no more umbrella, but that's my mistake. I need to pay attention. Up here in the mountains, the winds get very, very high. We've had them up to 110 miles an hour. And we've had, I've come home to all of my lawn furniture or patio furniture moved up, totally hugging the house. Uh, if I didn't have that it there where the house was, I probably would have found it maybe in the neighbor's yard or worse because uh, at 110 miles an hour it'll pick it up and send it tumbling. Um, like I said, I've had uh, umbrellas pick up and, and the weight on the bottom was holding onto the umbrella so well it just picked up the table and took it along with it. That was freaky. I've had, uh, uh, on my farm, I've had pieces of corrugated aluminum and plywood go flipping end over end through the yard. So I ended up that time going, actually I've had it a couple times, but one time it was the winds were so bad I could barely walk through the yard. I was like gusting back. 
and uh, I ended up running around and laying rocks and bricks on top of the aluminum and the plywood, especially the aluminum, because all I could picture was it flying through and, you know, like severing somebody's artery, like something that weighs a couple thousand pounds in my backyard that would, you know, I love very much and would uh, be really hard to do something with if when it dies. It's, it's, that's a thing about the homestead that, you know, some people have to think about. You know, if you're going to go big, cows, horses, stuff like that. I had horses. If you're going to go big and they die, you have to have a way to dispose of their bodies. You just can't... <laughs> I mean, you can't eat them. Be, it's, I mean, if they die because they got their neck cut or something like that in a storm, and you get out there in time, maybe you could eat them. But if they die because of an illness, you don't want to eat them. That's not safe. So that's wasted meat. Um, and then you have to figure out a way to get rid of them and usually for someone to come pick them up um, There's some places that will Pick them up really really cheap Like out here. We have a wolf reserve They won't um, feed the wolves pig for whatever reason um, but because uh, I had a pig um, But you know horse and stuff like that you can call and they'll come pick it up but it's not free because they have to come down off the mountain as well, further off the higher mountain than we are, um, to pick it up. And it's not, you know, as expensive as it is to have, like, a, a you know, veterinary, like, disposal service come out and come pick them up. But, yeah, okay, so I digressed big time. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah, that's just, uh, I was enjoying the fact that, you know, when we get a nice summer storm yeah it gets muggy but it gets quite a bit cooler so i get to shut off the air conditioning i have all the windows open i'm enjoying the weather kind of except now that i've been out in the hot sun trying to take care of that umbrella because <laughs> it was stuck open because you know i left it open so it was stuck open and i couldn't get it unopen <laughs> i couldn't get it closed and so I finally hoisted it up into the back of my truck and I and there's a cord because it had a like a hand crank that you could open it and close it so I had to cut the cord to that for that crank and then finally I was able to get it to close uh, yeah so that was just a big fiasco but you know even though I lost an umbrella I still like a summer storm and I enjoy when it gets cooled down and my garden needs to be watered now. <laughs> well, actually it rained yesterday too, so, um, but I like this kind of water better than, I don't have city tap water, I have well water, but still. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. <laughs>